While this one got away from me, somebody else did get it. Here we are. We're now at Goodwill in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, just in case there's folks who are checking this out. They've had a different, a couple of different locations in the city. This is a, a, a very new one. And just inside the door, we have the clothing across the front. And on the left side, you've got the shoes and then the uh, larger hard goods, such as furniture and such. We're looking at the shoes at this point. Uh, there's the recorded media there up to the left. The gentleman was looking at it. We didn't go over there. And the shoes are displayed on flat shelves. I've often seen them more on a tilted one. They had some, some of the electronics was out to here. That's a, uh, then they had a carpet. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pop. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Here we are, we're pivoting through some of the women's clothes, which are right beside the shoes. And there's some of the furniture, as you can see. And there's the fish. Hope you enjoyed the little bit of fun I had at the beginning there. There's a, uh, a, a, quite a selection of furniture some of it's vintage, some of it's not, some of it's great, others, well, I'd certainly pass on it, but others might appreciate it. Including some large pieces of uh, artwork. As you can see at the back there. Women's clothes continue on the on the side here. Interesting selection. Nothing that grabbed my attention in particular. And then tuck into this little bit of a corner, see what there is in a little more detail. You see some lamps. And then we pivot around. We're in the children's, children's clothing. And then in front there, you see the sheets and items. Oh yes, some more of the artwork. They like to have them high up. Uh, sheets and blankets and fabric. And then the even smaller children's clothing. We, you know, the magpie eye did catch things, but they weren't necessarily the items that we would be looking for. Just from the color and kind of patterns. Uh, as, as you may have come to learn that I look for Hawaiian shirts. Uh, yes, the good old routine of the hard goods and such as glassware on top of the clothing rack. not necessarily more collectible or anything they just choose to put some of them up there that they could be of slightly better quality um, but I think they just use it to instead of putting in a uh, floor mounted shelving racks and you can see there's 
These are, I think they're blouses. They do group them by color. Then we have the men's. These are probably knit tops or t-shirts or a blend of the two. larger sizes finally and at the end they had this uh, set of bookshelves not a small collection it's a fair size up top they had uh, that was a bit of an interesting piece of their collection of art a silvered leaves there's more of them there too. Trying to get my bearings in the store. And dealing with Westwood mm -hmm. Avenue who was in the store with me. It's an interesting one. Not made, uh, designed or made in Hawaii, but it, it certainly fulfills the uh, theme. Adolfo Sport. Pretty bold. What we're looking for generally. I think it's a dark navy. I thought it was a black when I was editing this earlier, but it looks like more of a dark navy. Surrounded by more common shirts. Prices were excellent on our visit. See that was seven dollars. There's another interesting one. Just setting up. And a good pattern. It's a, like a Chinese red, orangey. Not seeing all of those kind of shirts for seven dollars, but I think that one may have also been. Scanning along, checking the long sleeves as well. You don't see them in the long sleeves as often. They do exist, but they're few and far between. These are getting into such small sizes that I I was I acknowledge that they're there, but I just didn't stop for them. This was an interesting pattern fabric. I was looking at that. Back into this side. Some interesting orangey colors there. Oh, that's what had caught my eye. That's why I flipped, pivoted to that side. And you can see we're getting into the slacks. Not particularly looking at any of them, but just showing you that they had quite a selection. Now, these are more outdoor wear, but what we were actually stopping for was to take a look at this 
Oh, fat-free chip making for in a microwave. No, I'm not promoting it. I'm just, uh, it just caught my magpie eye. Then there was this other item that I just, it's, it's got to be something for, for the microwave, the way it sits. And it probably reflects the microwaves back up. So it might allow you to see or something. But then you had some other glassware there. Then we're into these, into the books again. So this is all in the same area. And a bit more smaller artwork that they've placed down at this level. Yes, they've even got safety vests. That's a lot of LPs there. And artwork as well. No, those, no, they're not. Art. Yeah, I think they're LPs. Box sets from the looks of it. I might be wrong. They may just be artwork. This was a uh, batch of raw video I had found. I had thought I'd lost it found it archived and so I'm presenting it now this was about a year before it's going up a little more than a year when we we're at this location Then we're looking at some of the small appliances. There's uh, a monitor I did take a look at. Uh, I snipped it out. Now these cups are false graph and they're labeled as such. The price, um, there wasn't much meat on it when you looked at what the comps were and uh, they stayed here. Here's the comparables, $8, uh, that'd be a US price. Um, considering the fragility of them as well. But then you have the, the these these bowls as well for 350. They certainly wouldn't leave much meat on them if you were to try and resell them. And then we're into this, the other glassware. They had full sets of dishes there, though, it's, as you can see from all the stacks. And uh, just a bit of some other clothes. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you appreciated seeing this. I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up, uh, maybe a subscribe. And if you're really interested, a uh, tinkle on the bell so you're notified of the next one that gets posted. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.